once again, friends. Um, this is Samuel Jeffrey coming to you from Marrakesh. And welcome once again to another lesson of our piano lessons for beginners. During our last lessons, we started with the key of C major. And we learned the different notes in the key of C major. And there were some finger exercises that I actually encouraged you to do. I really encourage you to do those exercises over and over again. As they look very simple, but they are going to help you build coordination and have your brain split and have the right hand do something different from what the left hand does. So I would encourage you to do those over and over again till they become a reflex. Today, we are going to learn to play chords in the key of C. We are going to learn to play diatonic chords. So what are diatonic chords? Diatonic chords are chords that have it, their components all belonging to the particular key in which you, the pianist, is playing in. So for instance, let's go to the piano now and watch my fingers. If you remember very well, in the key of C, we have So we have These are the chords, or the notes, sorry, in the key of C. So the diatonic chords can only be chords that actually belong to the key of C, like this. Only white, white notes. Why? Because, let's say, for instance, we can be playing in the key of C, still uh, not actually play all the chords in the key of C. We can be playing the key of C and have another chord come out. For example, there's this popular song that says, Oh, happy day. Oh, happy day. When Jesus washed. You know what I did? I actually played an A7. And A is actually out of the key of C. But it is used in this particular song. But when we're talking about diatonic chords, we do not go out. You're not going to touch any black keys. We are only going to touch the white keys. Okay. So how do you build the chords? You play one note. You leave one note in that key out. And then you leave another note in that key out. And then you have this. So you remember the exercise I showed you? Please watch my fingers. So you have C. This is the C major chord. So now, we lift the same shape and you have the D minor chord. Remember I said C major chord. So you have the root, which is the C, the root note, and then the major third, and then the perfect fifth. That is a major chord. From there, you go to re or the two. You have the D minor chord. Now watch my fingers again. You have the root notes, the minor third, and the perfect fifth. The mi or the third. Watch my hands once again. You have the root, the minor, third, perfect fifth. So this is an E minor chord. The three is an E minor chord. Then you come back to a major, which is the F major chord. You have the root note, which is the F. Then you have the major third, which, and then you have the perfect fifth. Then you go to G major, which is the fifth. You have the root, the major third, and the perfect fifth. Then you go back to another minor chord, which is the A minor, which is the sixth. So you have the root, which is the A. Then you have the minor third, the perfect fifth. 
Then you go to the, the, the seven or the C. And here you have a B diminished. You have a diminished chord. So you have the root, which is the B. And then you have um, the minor third and then the diminished fifth. So you now have... You have to try to do the same thing on the left hand too. Now we're going to do both together. So, with this exercise, please try to do it. Play it on the, these chords, these diatonic chords on the key of C on the left hand, play them several times, at least 20 times. On the right hand, play them at least 20 times too. And try playing them together at least 20 times. And when you do this, you'll be getting your fingers used to the keyboard. And this brings an end to our lesson today. So um, as usual, if you enjoyed this lesson, please do subscribe and hit the notification bell, and also give us a like, and don't forget to share with your friends. If there are any things that you think we should improve upon, please do let us know so we can actually serve you better. Also, if you enjoyed the lessons, feel free to share what you enjoyed about the lessons so we know what has really been useful to you. In our next lessons, I am going to try to explain the sounds what you hear when you play the different chords on in the key of C. Once again, have a wonderful evening and thank you.